breaking news from the United Kingdom has completely stunned the public regarding King Charles of England. His son Harry, William, Kate Middleton, and of course, Camilla are all involved. I have several exclusives to share. The first comes from royal author Tom King, who, as you know, always provides the latest updates on the British royal family. He has taken this opportunity to confirm the near future of the family. In a scenario where Prince Harry is not only absent but also forbidden by his father from making trips to certain Commonwealth countries with his wife as if they were royalty. We will talk about this and more, but first, please subscribe to the channel. It's free and costs nothing. There are some quite alarming things on the table, including the rumor that King Charles's cancer is fabricated to garner support during one of the worst times for the crown. A frenetic schedule, and when I say frenetic, it's four events in 24 hours. It seems that a 75-year-old with cancer would not be able to handle such a schedule. Now, what is the reason behind this? On one hand, it might be an attempt to undermine or at least knock down the image of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle and somehow make the UK focus only on him and his royal family, the Windsors, instead of his son Harry. Well, in the midst of it all, the mirror has the exclusive. Royal expert Tom King has confirmed a last-minute update that, to me, indicates a bit of insanity and a lack of love for his son. The toxicity of this man knows no bounds. He says King Charles is taking drastic measures to prevent the Commonwealth from inviting Meghan and Harry to visit. After their tour in Nigeria, it seems there has been an irreparable institutional rift within the House of Windsor, as this trip did not sit well with King Charles. He wants to prevent his son and daughter-in-law from visiting other Commonwealth countries. They say his priority is to prevent the Sussexes from undertaking another tour of African or Commonwealth countries. After three days in Nigeria, King Charles is determined not to allow the usurpation of institutional functions. He's in a terrible bind. He'd love to strip Harry and Meghan of all royal titles, but fears that this would appear vengeful to the public. This shows how little he cares for his son and his son's family. His only concern is public perception. This situation is pathetic. Another last-minute exclusive from The Mirror states that Prince Harry cried when King Charles announced a new military honor for Prince William. The worst part is that author Tom King claims the royal family knew the announcement would deeply hurt Harry before revealing it, and it's said that he cried when he heard it. They have decided to take off the gloves, showing Harry that betraying the family means losing the things he loved, as well as the things he hated doing as a royal. I doubt that Harry will be deprived of doing what he truly wants. I don't believe Harry cried over this military honor for his brother. Rather, he likely found it pathetic. The same goes for everyone in the Air Regiment, because William has never gone to war for the UK, unlike Harry. So the claim that Harry cried seems more likely to have shocked him with the family's double standards and hypocrisy, which they have no intention of resolving. Queen Elizabeth Roman II's death didn't change this, and I doubt anything will now. Currently, King Charles supposedly has cancer yet has managed to attend four official events in just 24 hours. What doctor would recommend such an institutional schedule? I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it. Another striking observation is King Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles attending a religious service at St. Paul's Cathedral this morning with Rose Hanbury's son as the aide to the head of state. This is noteworthy. A few days ago, Camilla was seen in a friendly interaction with the Duchess of Comandelli, and now we see her son with the king and queen. They did this at the coronation and are doing it again. Meanwhile, the million dollar question is, where is Kate Middleton? Why isn't she appearing in the American media? Rumors suggest Kate has called Harry, though the truth of this information is unclear. But it is notable that neither Kate nor her three children have been seen at official events where they should have been present, such as the Easter service.
it would have been a perfect opportunity for William to reappear with his children, update the public on Kate's condition, and normalize the situation a bit. Not only are they not normalizing it, but the children are also absent, which internationally raises questions about Kate Middleton's status. Italian doctors have provided an update indicating that things might not be as well as portrayed. Another suspicion surrounding the British crown is the absence of Kate Middleton's parents and siblings. There is a complete disappearance of everyone close to the Princess of Wales. Prince William's reaction is strangely distant when asked about his wife. He never spontaneously mentions her condition. Several body language experts have noted that Prince William gets nervous and controls his body when asked about Kate Middleton, which appears suspicious. Among all these updates, what stands out as most strange and suspicious is how Prince William has become completely sidelined, making him irrelevant within the British crown, while his brother Harry gains more prominence. Whether this is due to Kate's illness is unknown. Everything seems to be contributing to this odd dynamic, where William appears irrelevant, while Harry and Meghan gain prominence. The toxic behavior of King Charles, who focuses more on thwarting his son and daughter-in-law's international tours, rather than caring for his family, is appalling. Judge for yourselves, but if this is what a father is, God help us. It seems Harry and Meghan have responded, with People magazine reporting that they intend to visit as many countries as possible. This will not only enhance their image, but also provide significant media and economic benefits due to their 100 million Netflix contract. They will likely need to create much content to meet viewer expectations. This is the latest update.